Well, perhaps we'll talk a little bit more about Galois fields, because right? I mean, I like the name. So first of, first of all, please look up Galois, Everest Galois, on Wikipedia, because he's fascinating. Didn't he die in a duel? He died in a duel, right? Having published three landmark papers on finite fields and polynomials and things, right? So, I mean, you know, I'm not a mathematician, so I don't know the, the whole history, but this is, a, this is a guy who at about 20 or 21 was publishing in, at this kind of level of mathematics and then was killed, unfortunately, in a duel. Uh, so a very interesting story. Um, Nevertheless, he, he, did, he maybe didn't invent everything here, but he, he set the scene and it's been so, and developed and so on. Um, the, the mathematics behind um, AES is kind of well known. It's final fields are not a thing that was invented in cryptography. They just happen to be quite useful. Um, for example, prime fields, which are integers modulo some prime number, are the same thing we talked about when we talked about Diffie-Hellman mathematics, for example. Right. They're all just 8-bit numbers. Is the Galois field thing how they map together? Is that yeah, no, so the Galois field is actually a little bit more complicated than that because I brushed over it. <laughs> so in, in this, they are not 8-bit numbers. They're not just a binary representation of a number. They're actually a polynomial of degree 7, right? <laughs> Shall we? Uh, OK, so let's imagine we have an 8-bit number, 10110011. That's, is that 8? It's 7, 0, right? <laughs> I failed at the first hurdle of drawing an 8-bit number. Um, this is actually, in, in our Galois field, a polynomial of 1x to the 7 plus 0x to the 6 plus 1x to the 5 dot 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 plus 1x plus 0. Right? Now, polynomials come up in math obviously all the time. We're used to something like x squared, a little bit easier to understand. Um, but the point is that this field defines different ways to manipulate these and stay within this field. So addition is we literally add this polynomial to another one. Right? Now, so, so for example, x to the 7 plus x, if we add that to x to the 7 plus x squared, right, these are two polynomials. I've just not written all the noughts and ones in. It's 2x to the 7, which modulo 2 is naught. It's 1 plus 1 x to the 7 plus x squared plus x, which is this cancels out because we are talking about binary and binary addition. So this is x to the 7. So it's not x to the 7. That's the whole point. It's x squared plus x. Right? So that's xor. The thing that's confusing um, and you know, took me a little bit of time to get my head around with these polynomials is you never actually evaluate this. You never put in an x and work out what this formula is because it's not important. It's just about how you manipulate these numbers. So Mostly, we just stay in binary. We never write x to the 7 out. It's just that's what it represents. So addition in this field is xor. Right? So you know one or the other, but not both. So if we're xoring 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, I'll get it right this time, and 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. Right? These are two elements in this field. Then we have 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. Right. And that's the answer. Right. And that's equivalent of doing this polynomial addition. It's just that I've saved myself a huge amount of time. Right. So that's good. Um, multiplication is slightly more complicated. So multiplication is a bit like multiplication in a prime field where you take modulo, but now we're talking about polynomials again. Right. So we're going to do something along the lines of... If, so if you multiply two 8-bit numbers together, you'll get a number that's probably bigger than 8 bits. Well, it could well be. Right. So for example, if you multiply x to the 7 by x to the 7, for example, you're going to get x to the 14. That's way off outside of our finite field. So we need to bring it back in. And so we take it modulo another polynomial. And this is a specific polynomial that's used in Rindahl, right? which is x to the 8 plus x to the 4 plus x to the 3 plus x, I'm running out of page, plus 1. So whenever you perform multiplication in this field, you take your two binary numbers, you represent them as these polynomials, you multiply them together and then you take modulo this, which basically means you divide by this and find out what the remainder is. And that's your new number in that field. Right? So it's a little bit confusing, right? But actually, I, I, the way I think of it is you've got this finite field of all the different 8-bit numbers. And if you multiply any of them together, once you've taken modulo or you've taken a mod, it just goes back into this field somewhere else, right? Um, and it can be inverted, right? so which, is, which is super useful. So actually, Addition is just XOR, and multiplication is, is multiplication mod this polynomial. 
On the mixing columns, we talked about this matrix that you use yeah. in multiplication. Yeah. And it struck me that you wrote out decimal numbers. I mean, is that just for, for handiness? Yeah, that's just for handiness. So, so the first, so the matrix was somewhere along the lines of two, three, one, one, wasn't it? Something like that. And with some other stuff. And so what you'd be doing is you'd be doing two times one of the polynomials plus three times another one plus one times another one plus one times another one. And again, every time you do a times, you're just doing this. Every time you do a plus, you're doing this. And you just and you repeat it that way. Now, actually, there are a lot of shortcuts in here. So, I mean, as a case, as an example, plus can be replaced by XOR. That's a nice shortcut. Um, this modular can be done in binary pretty quickly. This modulo. So, this kind of stuff, a lot of bit shifting and other things, can be done very, very quickly to simplify this process. So, we're not actually doing a full-on matrix multiplication, which takes a lot of time. Although this math seems very complicated, it degenerates in some sense into bit shifting in XOR which can be done even on a smart card really, really fast.